Welcome to our words of encouragement, which will take the form of night prayer. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Our psalm tonight is going to be Psalm 31. I come to you, Lord, for protection. Don't let me be ashamed. Do as you have promised and rescue me. Listen to my prayer and hurry to save me. Be my mighty rock and the fortress where I know I am safe. You, Lord, are my mighty rock and my fortress. Lead me and guide me so that your name will be honoured. Protect me from hidden traps and keep me safe. You are faithful and I trust you because you rescued me. I hate the worshippers of worthless idols, but I trust you, Lord. I celebrate and shout because you are kind. You saw all my suffering and you cared for me. You kept me from the hands of my enemies and you set me free. Have pity, Lord. I am hurting and almost blind. My whole body aches. I have known only sorrow all my life long and I suffer year after year. I am weak from sin and my bones are limp. My enemies insult me. Neighbours are even worse and I disgust my friends. People meet me on the street and they turn and run. I am completely forgotten like someone dead. I am merely a broken dish. I hear the crowds whisper, everyone is afraid. They are plotting and scheming to murder me. But I trust you, Lord, and I claim you as my God. My life is in your hands. Save me from my enemies who hunt me down. Smile on me, your servant. Have pity and rescue me. I pray only to you. Don't disappoint me. Disappoint my cruel enemies until they lie silent in their graves. Silence those proud liars. Make them stop bragging and insulting your people. You are wonderful and while everyone watches, you store up blessings for all who honour and trust you. You are their shelter from harmful plots and you are their protection from vicious gossip. I will praise you, Lord, for showing great kindness when I was like a city under attack. I was terrified and thought, they've chased me far away from you. But you answered my prayer when I shouted for help. All who belong to the Lord show how you love him. The Lord protects the faithful, but he severely punishes everyone who is proud. All who trust the Lord, be cheerful and strong. Our short reading for tonight comes from the book of Matthew and it's Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to the end of the chapter. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. A yoke we know is a wooden harness that oxes wear over their shoulders, which enables them to carry heavy weights or to pull heavy loads. Jesus here offers to show us how to carry our burdens so that we are not overwhelmed. 
rest is promised. And what does rest look like when it comes directly from God? Well, I believe it looks like love, healing and a peace with God. Being a Christian doesn't mean that you'll have to face any troubles. But it does mean that you'll never have to carry them alone. And so we pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Oh,